Hey guys, it's MJC Star One here, aka MJ, aka MC, aka MJ Star One, aka MC Star One, aka MJ the Star One, M- aka MJ the Star, and so on. Um, the man with many names. Um. Ah. <coughs> uh, Anyway, I'm back with a video, and back with a video? What kind of an intro is this? Um, I am going to be talking about um, custom commands on Dinobot, and the um, specifically the choose function, because I have been using it a lot more, and it seems to be very fun. Um... Disable. Okay, never mind. Um, so first, I'm gonna go with. Um, actually, I'm gonna go with one of these long ones. Oops. It looks very long and complicated, but that's just because of all the um, all the options. So it's gonna be hard. So you better be looking in that tiny hole, cause. Yeah, that's what <laughs> what you're going to see. Anyway, you're going to see the delete thing first. Obviously, that means to delete um, the trigger message. You can also do that in here. Um, delete command. But I like to just put delete there so it's easier to... So I see it when I'm looking through it. Um, in this one, it's going to be choosing between all this food. So you do ch- uh, choose... And then, um, the, honestly, I don't know what that's called, but the two dots. And then everywhere else, because you're choosing between the following, then everywhere else you separate it with a comma, a dot and then a comma thing. I don't know what that's called either. Um, anyway. So, um, I've messed up on that before on a video that I was going to post, but it was horrible. So what happens is um, you choose between all those things, and then it'll just say this. This isn't anything special. And then user.username. That means if I were to put user dot, um, user dot name, then it would also show the, um, the scrim. Uh, let's see, show advanced variables, yeah, there, um, that, (laughs) see, it's got, um, user.name, that would show, include the discrim there, and then user.username just does the user's name without pinging them, um, also, if I did just user right here, um, to ping them, then it would give them the ID, because as you can see, it's in a code box, um, anyway, so I've got, um, I say, use, you can use this command to get the VIP role, so what that does, what this command does, (laughs) real quick, so you don't get confused, um, that's my discrim, that's the numbers after my name, um, so, decode 303 food VIP, that's just DMing me, um, using that command, it DMs me food VIP, and I'll know, um, which user to give it to. Anyway, we're not talking about that command, um, so then down here, you do choice. So at the top, you need to do choose so it knows what to do, and then when you're ready, just put choice. Um, so this is actually a pretty, like, a very simple one, actually. Um, you can find it down at the very bottom of the advanced variables. Um, as you can see, it has some food down there. That's not where I got the idea. Pie, cake, ice cream, band hammer. Um, yeah, and then later you should put choice. Anyway, that's it for that command. Let's move on to another one. I think this one's basically going to be the same. 
Actually, no. I will go to this one because I think these have the same principle. But this one's a little less simple. Um, a little more simple because, as you can see by the um, the size. Um, anyway. Oops. Don't want to mess with that. Choose one, two. See that? That's instead of naming all those foods, it looks a lot simpler. But oh, it is. <laughs> I thought I was talking about the other one. Um, that means to choose this, um, the money sign, and then the number. That's choosing between the first word and the second word, because this means the first word. This means the so second word, and so on. And you can also do things like this. Oops. That to mean all the words, and uh, this one would be starting at the second word, all the words after that, um, that come that you put after the command. So after it chooses between the two, it says choosing between the following. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it shows what it's choosing by. So this is just choosing one and two. It just shows what you put um, after the command. And then it shows the choice. This is a very simple choosing command. That's why it's called choose. <coughs> anyway, this one is one I'm pretty proud of. Um, and I've shown it before on, if you're on the Nerd Herd watching this. Yeah, I know, I've shown this. Um, but I'm going to go into how I actually did it. Um, so, first thing I put down is the choose command. It's not going to delete the, delete the starting thing. That's just a random thing I add sometimes. Um... And then, it actually is a combination of the first two I showed you. See, it uses the, the um, like, what you put down. Say, if you were to put down battle player one and player two, um, if they, assuming they were both one word, it would say, player one starts out strong with a stomp on player two's toe. But wait, player two strikes back by grabbing player ones left cheek and like these player ones and player twos will be um they, they're not actually player one and player two they're first word and second word um so you could put um cheddar versus american obviously cheddar would win um but yeah i give um i'm not sure how many but some options on how the fight can go and then this is the actual command. Um, it looks long, but this is actually all that they'll see. So, this is the death battle. It just says death battle between the first word and the second word. Who will win? Um, let's go to our announcer. And then this is the story that it chose. So, it will actually be a lot longer. Um, and I think, oops, <laughs> I don't think I did anything to that command. I think that's going to be all, um, I look for. I might find another one. These are all just simple ones. Um, you can probably see a lot of them, um, just by looking at the, the command. I probably shouldn't show these, so I might censor it out. Um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm going to censor it out, because there's a, um, actually, should they know? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, no, I don't have any of the warn commands on here, so, I'm good, I don't need to censor anything. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be... I'm asking for something to show that I don't want to. Um, I've just got a bunch of, like, this one is especially 
I was just like playing around with some of the things they have. Um, like, here's some information on your account. Use your username um, without ping. Um, it has username, discriminator, ID. It's not very fancy because all I'm doing is putting, like, it's got all of these features on there. But. Yeah, it's like all the first things down here. It's like created at. <laughs> like, I did I use created at? Yes, yeah, joined at and created at. Um, cause a lot of a lot of people say, like they don't know how to get their information or when they joined the server at, but for an application. So I put this in here. Um, there is of course the who is command. Um. Yeah, I forgot about that. I just wanted to put this in here for fun. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. Um, I have been MJC Star one or any of the following names that I listed at the beginning. Um, and I'll see you next time, maybe. Well, let's not say that. I, I won't actually see you. Let's just say... Okay, insert very good and funny intro outro i mean oh, this is going very well insert good and funny outro here and make it a good one see you guys bye okay disregard that bye um see you guys bye i am actually going to demonstrate what's he doing okay um Alright, I'm going to a bot testing where nobody is allowed because I test my, um... <laughs> okay, this is in a video that I was going to post, but it was trash. Um, I was going to actually show me making the choose command, but it did turn out trash. Um... <clears throat> anyway... <laughs> um... I'm just going to test or show you the um, commands in use. F that is food, 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 lotto. I'm not sure that's how to spell lotto, but whatevs. Um, order T. It, it looks so seamless to me. It's amazing. Um, lotto. And as you could see, t oh, two in a row. D food. Auto. See, look, it, it even tricks you. Like, yeah, this is going to be the time. Um, sometimes it deletes and sometimes it doesn't. That's just a bug or something. I don't know. But sometimes you'll get t two in a row, but you'll never get three in a row. And I showed you why. Um, because you, you saw all the different options to get three in a row. It's just pretty much impossible. Um, <laughs> anyway, don't, don't tell anyone that. Don't tell, it's possible. It's possible. Anyway, <laughs> the battle, I'm going to test this one out next. Uh, Cheddar and Batman. All right, cheddar starts out going strong and stops on. <laughs> so I guess the cheddar uh, fell off the shelf, and um, you know what? You can read that by yourself. Um, yeah, no, no, it's the end. Okay, bye, bye. Imagine a good intro outro here. <laughs>